Hey everyone, welcome back to Nurse Love Addiction. Last time we got Now's Good End, and it was, well, it was Now's Good End. Now, now, haha. Uh, I want to, um, I wanted to get Now's Bad End. I'm very curious. Because I was almost certain we were gonna get her bad end when I chose not to forgive her. And it seems to me like the defining thing that's gonna get you off the good end, or get you away from the good end, would be to forgive her, I think, according to my sources. Before that though, I kind of want to explore some of these other options for a couple of the questions, this being the first one. Of course, we had agreed to the date in the first run through, but I'm wondering what happens if we if we refuse the date, if we still end up going out with her or not on that day. Uh, if, if, if some of this gets kind of tedious or doesn't really lead anywhere, I'll cut it or speed through it. But for now, let's just see what some of these options are and then we'll get, and then we'll go find out about the bad end. Yes, we are sisters after all. I speak hesitantly. Now looks very disappointed. Her shoulders are drooped. I respond immediately. All right, so that didn't really do what I thought it, what I thought it might. But I guess I don't know what else I would have expected. It just seems like refusing the date would have just altered altered things so differently if now didn't convince Asuka otherwise that they should go on the date. Now the second option, the second option I wanted to check was when we chase after, our decision to chase after now, after she disappears. So last time, of course, we went after her because why the hell wouldn't we? But if we say I'm too sleepy... I mean, really, if we're going back to sleep, that, that diverge, that's going to diverge significantly from what we've already experienced. I head back to bed. Okay, so nothing really alters too significantly. It's just a, a, uh, a thought process, okay. All right, here we are. Let's, let's do the now bad end. Really the only thing we, we, we are required to do for this or so it seems is to forgive her which sounds kind of interesting or kind of counterintuitive to get the bad end, we have to forgive her. Though, as I said in the previous video, not forgiving her makes a lot more sense just because now he's done all these terrible things to us. I mean, com I mean, I would argue now has fundamentally changed who we are as a person and maybe now could be the one who's, could be considered the one who is responsible for for making Asuka have such like a sharp personality contrast to who she was as a child. And I know you outgrow a lot of things, a lot of personality and a lot of characteristics as you get older, but uh, considering the change is so starkly different, if we want to take Itsuki by her word, I do have to wonder if now taking away certain memories from us, even if they are just memories related to Sakya, that's still very important and fundamental like building blocks, especially at that age, I do have to wonder if now could be the one who sort of made us kind of more passive and unsure of ourselves. Like that's that to me seems very plausible at this point. And I really love it actually. That that's a whole kind of existential dilemma that is really interestingly tackled in these in 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 this route so let's forgive her see where it takes us there wasn't any doubt there hadn't been any doubt from the start 
With an angelic smile, I speak to now. Her face filled with surprise. She takes a big gulp of air. I also have to wonder if Nao really wants forgiveness, or she thinks she should be forgiven. She seemed pretty ready to die when Itsuki held the gun to her, so um, I wonder if maybe that has something to do how this leads us to a bad end. You know, just like the lack of the acknowledgement of fault, for Asuka to be so forgiving, you know, that's not... That's not generally enough for a person. I guess it can be, but for someone who's really going to sit and consider their faults to be forgiven so easily for doing something so horrible, I think that could be really like disorienting and jarring for a person. And, and not fair even to them, because if now is feeling the weight of her decision and her choices and how much she's hurt Asuka, I just have to wonder if like that really weighs on her and to have Asuka just turn around and be so willing to forgive it's like to not acknowledge the the I don't know what it's not to acknowledge but maybe now's own suffering from her own guilt at this point maybe mm, with these words, I take now into my arms. So Now's voice is filled with relief. So As I'm holding her in my arms, I can hear relief in her voice, but for some reason, there is also a hint of anxiety. So I squeeze her even more tightly into my arms. This is definitely how it should be. We'll be this close forever. <laughs> now lets go of her tension and relaxes her body into my arms. Under this absolutely gorgeous starry sky, I continue holding on to my oh so adorable little sister. When suddenly, I hear a sound coming from near the school, which I feel like I've heard before. Uh oh. Is that Itsuki? It sounded like it could have been like a vehicle pulling up. Snuggled in between my arms now responds. She starts saying something but breaks off mid sentence. Okay, I guess uh, I guess we're done with that. Though I'd be curious to know, because Itsuki had to have appeared again, so I would have been curious to know how that scene played out. Time has passed, and we're now in the autumn of our second year. Today, at last, is the day of the capping ceremony. Of course, today, like every other day, I'm walking to school with Nao. Nao smiles, but she's looking a little pale. I wonder if she's alright. I greet Itsuki cheerfully. Itsuki has come by herself since Sakya is staying home after voluntarily deciding to repeat the year. Since I heard they made up, I'm not worried, but... Oh, and since my memories came back, I'm calling them again by just their names, like in the old days. I didn't explain the details to her, but it seems like she's made the right assumptions. <sighs> That is so classic her. Oh. 
気だよ心配しないでうんのうちゃんのことなら私が分かってるから任せて No, that, that sounds suspicious coming from you, Asuka. Hey, I'm not going to be able to do that. Is that why it's suspicious? Because it sounds responsible? No, that was weird how she said that. It was a very, like, I don't know if responsible was the way I'd put it. I guess that's an interpretation. But it was a very, like, hey, mind your own business. Or is, is that just my own personal interpretation? I don't know. I'm not flustered by Itsuki's teasing tone. So, yeah, Oh, I guess that makes things okay, but I don't I don't trust all this like happy feel goodness for a second. Not when I know we're on the bad end. I smile brightly. The capping ceremony has begun. It starts off with a formal greeting from the principal. We don't have a choice but to sit and listen to the long-winded speech. After the speech, our names will be called one by one to rise up to the podium. There we will be presented with our nurse's caps and will be given a candle. It's the ceremony we've been waiting for for a long, long time. Now must be thinking the same thing. She glances at me from the seat next to mine. She's keeping herself collected, but I can't help but notice that she's looking a bit pale. The principal's speech has ended, and we're finally getting to the part of the capping ceremony where we'll be awarded our nurses' caps. Miss O'Hara is the one calling the students' names. Amato Itsuki. Hi. Itsuki rises up to the platform. There's a formal yet composed expression on her face. A few other names are called after Itsuki, and then... Osachi Asuka. Hi! As my name is called, I glance at now, telling her with my eyes, I'll see you on the other side. I climb up the platform and receive my nurse's cap. I'm then given a small plate with a candle before proceeding to the Nightingale statue. I light my candle with the flame from the big candle which is being held by the statue and take my place in line at the far end of the platform. Now's name is called after mine and I watch as Now walks up to the platform. I noticed how the principal looks a little puzzled at Now's pale face, but the ceremony continues and Now soon takes her place next to me after lighting her candle. The ceremony smoothly continues. <laughs> now looks visibly ill. She seems to be desperately trying to get through the ceremony. At the end of the capping ceremony, there's a group picture with the whole class. After this, in front of the school gates, students are taking pictures with each other. Machi and Michi are soon calling out to us as well. Machi and Michi notice Nao's pale face and look worried. <laughs> Itsuki watches, concerned, as we distance ourselves from the student crowd. <laughs> it seems as if she wants to say something, but I choose to ignore her. Now is the priority now. <laughs> Now 
I, I don't, I don't even want to know. <sighs> now is breathing heavily. She looks at me with a suffering expression as I speak to her. Her weak voice tone sounds almost as if she's talking in her sleep. Then, in the spring of our third year, the class responds affirmatively to Miss O'Hara's recommendation. I glance at the seat next to mine. It's empty. It's been empty for a long time now. This concludes today's classes. I busily pack up my bag and prepare myself to go home. Itsuki calls out to me from the seat behind me. And with those few words, I take my bag in my hand and make my way out of the classroom. Having left the school, I'm not heading towards the dorm, but towards the station. I'm not going home to the dorm, but I'm really going home. Home. The home where now is waiting for me. Arriving at home, I open the door. Tadaima! No other voices. My parents are overseas for work, and now... I take off my shoes, move through the hallway, and go up the stairs to the second floor. Last winter, now quit Taito Nursing Academy. Everything had changed for her on that night. Everything you've done, I forgive you for it. That night, when I forgave all of Nao's sins, for a short while after, we continued our usual school and dormitory life. Now also seemed happy. Before long, every now and then, she started feeling unwell. It wasn't that she had pain or discomfort anywhere in particular. She said she felt sore throughout her whole body. Because the cause was unknown, I wasn't too worried at first, but it gradually started happening more and more often. And because of the increasing frequency, I started to understand something. Now's body always started becoming painful when I was near. It always seemed to happen at times when we were having fun together, when we were on a date, or when we were feeling happy together. It happened at the capping ceremony as well. It's as if something started growing inside Now's body that night. A kind of pain, a kind of suffering. <clears throat> I make my way down the short hallway and reach the door. The door to Nao's room. I open the door. What the fuck is wrong with this game? Why do I love it? I mean, really? Is all this necessary? Are you all seeing what I'm seeing? I mean, this is... I don't... I don't even know. Whatever she did, now is tormented by this pain inside her, eating at her body. Because of this, she knew she couldn't go on any longer, and eventually decided to quit school. I also left the dorm, and started commuting to school from home. Taito Academy made a special exception for me. <laughs> Though now is breathing heavily, she looks at me with a faint smile. <laughs> 
Man, she's also like cut all over her body too, I just noticed. I mean, really, is all this necessary? I also think it's funny how, uh, how this is the bad end and we have talks of being a good girl, but in the good end, Asuka and now we're always talking about being naughty. Kind of funny little contrast there, ugh. There's only one method for relieving Nao's agony. And that is to hurt her. To blame her. To bully her. And it has to be me who does it. A short while after I begin doing this, Nao's agony would start to dissolve, and she'd be able to feel at ease. And not only that, she tells me it gives her a sense of true happiness. I don't know the reasons behind it. I wonder. So I wonder if that pain that started cultivating and now was entirely brought on by her own guilt. And yeah, by Asuka being so quick to forgive her instead of acknowledging the bad that now had done and them dealing with it and working through it. In a, in a healthier manner than just a blanket slate of forgiveness. Or if there's something else going on that we don't know. Like if now and Asuka do have some other kind of connection. I'm not sure there is. I'm not sure if that's something we'd learn in one of the other routes, but uh, yeah, I wonder if this is just some weird messed up reaction now is having to uh, not knowing what to do with her guilt. I don't know. It's too late to think about that now. The reality right now is that now is so precious to me that I'd do anything she wants from me. I put my hands around Now's throat. The first time I did this, I didn't quite know how much force to use. I held back, and I was a bit scared too, so it didn't work that well. But after doing it countless times, though I'm not proud of it, I've gotten really good at it. Asuka, have you not failed out of school? If you're busy, if you're busy choking out your sister for three hours every day, possibly five hours now. Jeez. <laughs> now is begging me with a sweet, persuasive tone of voice. The voice of my adorable, sweetest now. I respond to her with my words of unlimited love. <laughs> then I gradually start tightening my grip around now's throat. Wow. So that was a thing that happened. Uh, I'm not really sure how it happened. I'm not sure if it made a lot of sense to me. If anyone wants to help me figure out how that bet that bad end makes any sense please let me know in the comments or something because I'd love to talk about it more because I'm not really sure how that lines up with the rest of Now's root necessarily. So someone please enlighten me. Uh, that was definitely more fucked up than Sakia's bad ending, that's for sure. All right, uh, so there we go. Well, I wanted to see it. I'm to blame here. I wanted to see the bad end. Oh, 
next time, we will begin Itsuki's route and see what light her route sheds on all this crazy shit that this game has put us through so far. We still don't know why Itsuki and Sakya started fighting in the first place. That's the question I'm still wondering. Why were they fighting in the first place? We still have no idea. Next time, Itsuki's route.